Hello all. I'm standing here next to the Lucas Nula Industry 4.0 car production, which we have redeveloped over the last one and a half years. There are new stations in it, new features, with a smart product being produced here. And as I said before, car production. And then of course, you know immediately what the product is. We are producing a car here. This car consists of three parts. On the one hand, we have the undercarriage. On the other hand, we have a function board in there, and on top of that, a chassis in two different variants. Once as a passenger car version, or also as a transporter version. And with our IMS stations, we are now mounted here on the IMUs, that is, the industrial mechatronic units. With these stations, we now produce these complete cars. This starts here in the first station, where the chassis or the carriages are located. And these undercarriages are then lowered onto the workpiece carrier and are then ready to receive the function board. Here in this station, the function board is now mounted from the robot arm into the carriage. Now this is an optional extension, the way you can implement it if you want to. Alternatively, what we offer as standard, it is so that the function board is already included in the chassis. Optionally, as in the case here, the robot arm then takes the function board out of the loading cradle. We scan the ID tag of the function board via an RFID read right head and the robot then inserts the board into the chassis and the function board is then activated and then communicates with the ERP system via the Wi-Fi. Here in this station, the car is then completed. That is, the body is mounted on the chassis, and here you have these two options that I mentioned at the beginning. Once passenger car, or also the transporter form. Here in the painting station, now the complete car arrives, and we have previously placed an order in the web store how the color of the car should be. Here, of course, is now not properly painted with color, but via the Wi-Fi, the information from the ERP system to the function board is now passed on. On the function board, there are four RGB LEDs as they light up in the corresponding color, as it was ordered. Furthermore, there is a small microcontroller in this station, and this microcontroller can also be freely programmed. That means we are no longer purely in this PLC world, but we can also take the microcontroller programming as a learning content with it, if you want it. By default, of course, everything is already pre-programmed, but if you want, you can also add the microcontroller programming with it. After the car has been painted at the painting station, it goes on to the labeling station. And in the labeling station, the car gets an individual QR code. And this individual QR code is placed on the car. And via this QR code, you can access the corresponding product page, which is created as soon as the product is ordered. This means at the time of the order via the web store, a product page is created especially for this car, where all information can be viewed. That means all information about the current production status, how long the production took, which colors were used and so on and so forth. Furthermore, I also get to see a 3D object on this product page, and this 3D object I can then even display as an AR variant, so in augmented reality, in space. That means the car I have ordered, I then see in the room as a 3D model standing on the floor, or on the table, which you can then project wherever you want. At the very end, we have our own handling station here, and the handling station takes out the finished car via a suction pad, sets it down here, and the finished car is then ready to be sent to the customer. This is now a possibility of a car production, as we have now implemented here with this optional extension of the robot. There are also other expansion stages, which means that this plant can also be built a little more compactly, where we simply omit individual functions.